Suppose we wanted to construct a finite automaton recognizing a star b plus b star a. An obvious strategy is to find two finite automatons, a finite automaton recognizing a star b, and a finite automaton recognizing b star a. But there's a problem. How do we get from our start state? If we have the transition q0 to a by a, then our string must begin with a. But remember, a star b could include just b itself. Likewise, if we have a transition q0 to c, our string must begin with b, but b star a could just include a itself. And so it seems there's no way of moving from our start state to including these strings. We need to be able to move to A or C without processing a symbol. We could do this by treating the empty string lambda as a symbol that would cause a transition. Since lambda is the empty string, we call this a lambda transition. And so we have our definition for a non-deterministic finite automaton with lambda transitions. It's a five-tuple where we'll extend our possible symbols to include the empty symbol. So let's construct an NFA lambda for the language consisting of repetitions of the string 110. Since we need to have the sequence 110 repeated, and this is the only sequence that could lead to an accepting state. We could represent this as a, 1 takes you to b, 1 takes you to c, 0 takes you to d, where d is the accepting state. And we could then reset by a lambda transition. So remember the lambda transitions are sort of like free moves. You can always use a lambda transition to move from one state to another. So for this NFA, we might try to evaluate delta A1. So if we receive symbol 1 at A, we could either go to state A or to state B. But once we're at B, the lambda transition allows us to go to C. So delta of a1 is a, b, or, with the use of a lambda transition, c. These lambda transitions do require us to redefine our delta star, and in order to do that, we'll introduce the idea of a lambda closure. So given a subset of q, the lambda closure is the subset and informally, you could think about this as all states that are either in our set or are reachable via a lambda transition from an element of our set. So for example, if we consider a finite automaton like this, let's find the lambda closure of our set consisting of the state D. So since D is an S, D itself is in the lambda closure, And our possible lambda transitions from D, we could go to B. So B is in our lambda closure as well. But wait, there's more. Once we're at B, we could apply another lambda transition that'll take us to A. So A will also be in our lambda closure. And in fact, once we get to A, we can't go any place else without having some input string, so we're not going to go any further. So our lambda closure of D is the set D, B, and A. The lambda closure allows us to define delta star for a non-deterministic finite automaton with lambda transitions. So suppose we have a NFA lambda, then for any state, any string, and any symbol. Delta star of state empty is the lambda closure of the state, and delta star of state string symbol is the lambda closure of all the states we could get to if we follow our transition function. 
And so we can now define whether or not a string is accepted by our whatever it is. So the definition is actually a little bit harder to write than it is to use. So let's actually use it for our NFA lambda shown. Let's find delta star of a 110 and then see if 110 is accepted by our finite automaton. So from a, we see that a 1 could take us to a or b. But there's also a lambda transition from b, so if we get to b, we can also go on to c. Next, if we get a 1, if we're at a, we could again go to a, b, or c. If we're at b, a1 doesn't take us anyplace new, but if we're at C, A1 will take us to D, and incidentally there's a lambda transition back to B, but we've already included that in our set. And then, if we're at A and receive a 0, we go back to A. If we're at B, a 0 takes us to C. If we're at C, a 0 doesn't take us any place. And if we're at D, a zero will take us back to C. Notice that while there is a lambda transition from D, if we took that and then applied zero, we'd still get to C. So we don't worry about the lambda transitions before we evaluate our string. We only care about our lambda transitions from our destination string. Finally, since delta star 110 reached the set AC, which includes our accepting state, then 110 is accepted by the NFA lambda.